Hey guys, welcome to another T Gun Productions video. I'm T Gun, and today I'm coming at you with another video. Now, I just want to quickly say sorry for not doing a video yesterday. I was pretty busy doing other stuff. Then I ended up watching The Walking Dead until about 1 in the morning. So, sorry guys, and it was a bit late to do a movie review at that time. So, I'm doing a review now. Now, over the weekend, I've got three reviews coming. Two of them are Lego set reviews, which I'm going to start doing. Every time we get a Lego set, I'm going to review it, whether it's late. Later than everyone else, or not, because we live in Australia, so we get sets released later than America. And then there's also a custom Lego minifigure showcase, which will be tomorrow. So, as well as my other Lego set review. So, today, we've got the, what is it, the Scarecrow Harv Har the Harvest of Fear set. So, let's go have a look at the box. Alright, so here's the box, and it looks pretty big. I like this art, so... There's pretty much my hand compared to the box. So, yeah, it's a pretty big box. That's how much it's taken up on my desk. So, anyway, let's move on to the extra box so up here. It says Lego, DC Comics Superheroes. It's got Batman over there in the new 52 outfit. It's got the 7 to 14 age recommendations. It's then got the... Um, set number 76054 Batman Scarecrow uh, Scarecrow Harvest of Fear It's got the character so you get Scarecrow which I'm going to use this head for my custom Scarecrow Killer Moth, Farmer, Blue Beetle and Gas Mask Batman. Now I've been looking forward to this Blue Beetle minifigure so can't wait to get that Then you've got the Harvest Thingo, the, his machine and you've got the um, Helicopter, which looks all right, except for the blue. I'll probably change that after the review. Then you got the farmer. This this is my favorite vehicle, guys. This is best vehicle of 2016, and this guy, my favorite minifigure and vehicle of 2016, right here, guys. You're gonna see him in everywhere. Anyway, um, coming on to the side, you have Batman on the side there. You've got just a, the Lego Club thing. DC superheroes, Lego down there. Set number. Batman symbol. On the back, you've got the playability function. So you've got this blue beetle on that battling. You've got the helicopter landed. You've got all that. And you've got all the playability features. So I'll give you that a quick look. Just Batman there. The Lego site. Um, up in the top, you don't. You just. Oh, that's upside down. You've got. The minifigures battling out there with Batman supporting the size reference. And then I think we've done that side. Oh, this side's just exactly the same. And then there's not much on the bottom. So, without further ado, let's open this up and build it. Okay, so here we have this set all built. Now, I actually ha um, was watching Walking Dead, so this is a bit later than what I would have hoped. So if I sound quiet, that's because everyone else in my house is asleep or like gone to bed, so I can't really be too loud. So sorry if I seem quiet, but yeah, it's built. So let's actually have a look at the minifigures. Okay, so we, so here we have the first custom Batman. Um, so this is a different print than we did have for the other Batman. So we'll start off with its accessories. So first up, we have this black battering, which we've gotten in pretty much most of his sets. Come on, Batman. So, black battering, pretty nice accessory, so it's a good one to add to the collection. So, yeah. Now, the cows, just the new 52 cow, and then we actually get one of the newer breather bits, so I'll move the head out of the way. So, we get one of these breather bits in the set, which is pretty nice. And then we also get a black fabric cape, which is also pretty nice. And then... Let's move on to the minifigure himself. So we get this newly printed head. Now at first I thought it was going to be a similar head to when we got the aquatic um, Batman head. If I can try and find it. But if I can't then oh well. But like you know the one that we got for the scuba bat suit with the, bl with the blue. Well I thought it was going to be similar. But it's actually different. Like this eye bit is different. If I can actually focus. So this goggle bit's different, and the actual mouth bit here is all different. Like it's all printed differently, so it's not a re-printed, um, like a rehashed printed version. 
with just some with different colors. It's actually all reprinted. Then on the other side, we've got one, one of the newer faces with the green um, eye lenses up here. But yeah, it's a pretty nice head. Moving on to the torso himself. Now the arms and legs are actually plain, um, which is all right, I guess. And then for the actual torso, you can see it's got the armor bits up here. The same green color around the bat symbol on some of the tubes. The belt coming around. Pretty extends to the back. If you can actually look carefully, I think there's some back detail, but I'm not sure. So you see the green tubes coming back around. Yeah. Now, what's funny thing too, I actually thought this was going to be like gray for the, uh, um, the muscle bits there but it's actually a dark green so which is pretty nice to see now i'm probably going to turn this into like a jetpack suit like i said before because i've got like a pair of these black wings and i've made a custom jetpack here so i'll probably make it just like a jetpack suit so i might do that um instead of just having it normal i'll actually add the jetpack and stuff but yeah so that's the batman for the set and then I'll show you what he looks like with just this side of the face. So that's what he looks like with that side. Now here we have Blue Beetle, who's actually a minifigure who I've been looking forward to getting. This is one of the main reasons why I bought the set, because I really, I really like Blue Beetle. He's one of my favorite DC superheroes. He's probably in my top 10. But yeah, so starting off with the accessory. This is actually my first time actually getting one of these pieces. And you actually get two in the set. So if you wanted to, if you had another dark blue disc like this, you can actually have a dual world with it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. So you have two, well, one of these, which is really nice. I think some people have actually painted some of these green to make it more like Hal Jordan's green. I might do that with one of them, might not. I don't know. But yeah, and it fits in there pretty nicely. And yeah, so I can't wait to actually collect more of them. So coming on to the minifigure, it's a pretty nice minifigure. Now the legs are just like black legs with blue mold, double molded boots. So it's all the way around obviously because it's molded on there. Now the t I'll come to the torso in a bit. The actual arms are just plain black, which I thought they might have done like blue shoulders or something. Like double molded sleeves as well, so like have blue up here or something. But that's right. Plain black's alright. I guess you could, if you get another minifigure that has like blue sleeves or something, you could just put it on there. But it's alright. But coming over to here, so I'll give you a look at the head first. So that's my cat. Oh my sister's cat. If you heard that meow. But anyway, so that's the head of Blue Beetle. So blue with the facial. Area. Now, I've forgotten the name of the guy who wears the blue beetle suit, so if you guys know, please help me out by letting me know in the comments below, because I've forgotten the name of him, so, yeah, sorry about that, but, yeah, he's got his nice yellow eyes, a smile, and that, so, really good head. Now, this bit is, like, the neck piece, so, you just have it on like that, and that's how... Oops, that's how you would have him. So it's pretty nice. It's a rubber bit. I actually thought it was going to be plastic, but now it's rubber. It comes down with the torso. You have like a little breather sort of thing, a little detail. If I can get it to focus. Come on, focus. Okay, so it's got like a black circle. Stuff to implicate the breather bit. Then you also get these bug wings, which is my first time getting some bug wings. So, it's pretty much like a translucent blue. Looks really nice, and you can see the bug there. Now, I actually kind of wish that it had the printed scarab on the actual, on here, instead of just through the torso. That's pretty much my only complaint about this minifigure, is that... It wasn't printed on here, it's just meant to be like a clear. So like you put it on there, and depending on the light, you can actually see the printing coming through, but it's hard to see at times. So I actually wish that this was all printed 
instead of having so have it printed there but also print it on there so that way we can have the wings out like that and then we can also take it off and then it's got the backpack there that's the only thing i really wish and i kind of wish that he had the blue sleeves but they're only nitpicks it's still a really great minifigure it's one of my favorites but yeah, so coming on to the back the back you can see the scarab and the legs going around the blue the little yellow dots or yellowy white dots and just some silver that was up around here so yeah he's one of the best minifigures out of the set in my opinion so yeah i'm really glad i got this set because like i said before he was one of the main reasons why i got this set mainly for blue beetle because blue beetle is one of my favorite justice league slash young justice members the movie comes to scarecrow he's a good minifigure and i think i prefer the other versions but this is still a pretty good one now here's another good minifigure kill him off so starting off with this weapon it's pretty much one of these alien guns with one of these clear pieces that has the blaster on it so that's pretty cool a nice blaster I might do something similar for blue beetle i don't know but yeah that's a nice little blaster now i don't really know much about killer moth i only know him because he was in the lego batman game so i don't really know him but this we'll start off with the helmet the helmet's actually a pretty good piece you could probably use it for a custom like a few customs like maybe a firefly i guess if you wanted to or something like make it all black and have the yellow eyes. I don't know, but it's like a pretty good helmet piece. The face is just um, the green to continue continue it on, like continue the detail. Like if you can see it there, so pretty nice green. You can see his goggles, and you've got his little mouth there. And then on the back you've got a scared face. So I guess if you turn this around, you can have that. And I don't think you would have the helmet on, but maybe a hairpiece. Like, I guess, just grabbing a random hairpiece. <laughs> I guess you could do that, as if Batman's knocked off his helmet. And then that's the look of him, I guess, if you wanted to. But, yeah. And then you've got his little moth-like wings. And translucent orange. And this is my first time getting this wing piece, which is actually pretty cool. So, it's nicely moulded and stuff. Coming over to the back, it's just all purple. You've got a shoulder blade, spine, continuation of the belt. On the front, you just have the little moth there, the belt, and these just torso details. And then you've got these little green stripes coming around. It doesn't continue all the way around because it would be hard to print on the back, but I hope one day that Lego can print on the back of the legs. But, yeah, you still have the green there and it still looks pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for Killer Moth. Nothing on the arms, but it's still a pretty cool minifigure. Oh, I'm gonna knock the camera. <laughs> now here we have the Farmer. Now, like I said before, this is my favorite minifigure out of the whole thing. He's gonna be in like all my videos. I'm gonna replace the thumbnail and put this guy, this guy, on my thumbnail. It's just gonna be him. This is now my new Sig Fig. This is my new minifigure. He's running the place. It's his place, and he's running it. <laughs> so yeah, let's look at this cool minifigure. So it's got this dark red baseball cap, and then he's got his scared face, like the banana truck guy. Then you have his white um, singlet sh shirt with the little uh, mud stains and stuff. On the back, just continuation. You can see his saggy shoulder blades. You can see the rest of the mud starting to rip up. Just clean arms and then just these bluish gray sand blue pants and yeah nah but actually serious no it's an alright minifigure they should have had something else but it's like it's still a good figure but they should have had a different minifigure not this guy but I don't know I guess I were trying to make it, give him a civilian so yeah but if you actually look at him if you actually change the face out and maybe a couple of things on the torso. You've got a pretty, you've got Otis from season two of The Walking Dead. So yeah, I was just thinking of that before, and I was like, "Hey, look, it's Otis." But yeah. Anyway, let's move on to his um, thingo tractor.
so yeah, like I said before, this is actually late, so I apologise again if I seem pretty quiet while doing this, it's just everyone else is in bed and I can't really talk too loud, but yeah, so, so the tractor's a pretty nice build, it rolls pretty nicely, as you can see, it's got a slight there, and it's all nice and red, like a classic tractor would be, on the back, if you wanted to, you could actually have a clip coming out and having a trailer if you wanted to. And then you have his nice comfy seat in there, steering wheel, a light, a little steam pipe thing, the engine up here, and yeah, it's a pretty neat build, and then you've got his bumper on the back. And you just sit him down like this, and you actually have Otis, or the farmer, in his tractor to drive around and be scared when Killer Moss comes down to attack. They, he's still scared. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty good build for that. And it's good that they gave Otis a vehicle. Next we have Scarecrow's vehicle, so I decided to do this next because Batman's got the coolest vehicle, so I'll keep that to last, best to last. So yeah, it's a pretty nice build. And it's pretty simple too, so when it rolls, you it's actually got a mechanism to actually make this cage roll. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, you also have, so that's just got the green there to make it roll. Then you have a stud shooter here that shoots one of these uh, fear bombs, I guess you would call it. It's just a translucent green head with a couple of studs on top. You actually get four of them in total. So, there's four of them, oops, jump one, so yeah, and then if you wanted to, you can have Scarecrow, and he can just throw these, so you can hold them if you wanted to, but, or just load them up in here, right, so, yeah, then you have this little driver's seat up here, and I forgot to mention on the tractor too, it comes with two stickers, you have a sticker there, and a sticker there, or they're just wearing off, and on here, you've got a few stickers, you've got a sticker there, 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 for like rusting off plates and stuff, and then you've got another sticker, where are they? Uh, I think that's it, yeah, I think there's, oh, and you also have stickers on the sides, there, and there. So yeah. And then coming up so yeah, that's where you would sit scarecrow. So if I actually grab him again, you would sit him down like this, and then he'll drive it, and then on this side you can actually put in his pitchfork. Now, before I read the instructions wrong, and if you wanted to, instead of having the pitchfork there, you can give him another light. So because, yeah, I before thought you wanted to light, so I did that. So if you want to, you can have that, except it just doesn't have a gun, so, yeah. But it's mainly for holding this pitchfork. Like I showed you, it rolls pretty nicely. And then up in the back here, it's this cage. So you can store the bombs in there, or you can take them out. And it's like a gas dispenser, so you actually have a tube coming around, hooked up, and then this is what would disperse the gas, just a couple of these, so the gas would come out of here. Or if you wanted to, you can take Otis, plop him inside, just like so, set it up, and Scarecrow to get put. If Otis can stand up for me, that would be great. There you go, you've got a hostage. So, Otis is now a hostage. But yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to be calling him Otis from Walking Dead Season 2. But yeah, so, yeah, you've got Otis in there, or you can take it out, and then just dispense the guns. Well, not guns, the bombs in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the playability feature. Stuff. And now here we have Batman's helicopter. Now, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the blue, so I might take this off 
and some of the yellow make it Nightwing's helicopter or just swap out all the blue bits. But I don't know. But yeah, so the rotator up here spins pretty nicely. So I'm spinning it again. Okay, I might take it off just so it doesn't get in my way. But yeah, so this opens up. Oop. And you can have a look in the cockpit. Batman sits in there pretty nicely. Now, I know that the new capes can actually sit in there pretty nicely without being damaged, but I just prefer taking it off to give it more room. It's in there. The cockpit's pretty simple. It's just a chair, a couple of buttons, and then this little screen. And it just fits down nicely over that. that. So I'll put Batman back in there. But yeah, I might make this Nightwing's vehicle because it does look like something Nightwing would use. Since I've got a blue knight wing now, not a red one. But, yeah. And then, pretty good length. I mean, comparing it against to Otis's tractor, you can see that's how big it is. So, yeah, it's a nice, pretty big build. But, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, you've got the rotator up the back here. You have this big bat wing. Now on the back it's got a couple of these clips which I guess you could use as like afterburners I guess or up here as well so like you could attach a little flame piece and it's like a little afterburner and then yeah these are stickers here and on the on here as well the bat symbol there and I'm not sure where else the bat, yeah I think that's all of them and then what's pretty cool too you have these little guns here and then push in the back and more guns come out, so they have little stud shooters. And to pop away, put this back out, push it in, and it's hidden. So that's a pretty cool feature. Just like that. Shoots, bang, bang, bang. Shot everyone. Take it out. Yeah. So, yeah, and I don't think there's any other play features for it. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for... Batman's helicopter, like, and Blue Beetle can come in at some point, so like maybe Batman's been taken out, so he's flying it, but it's up to you guys, like what you could do. So for the extra pieces, you get four more translucent orange studs for the stud shooters on the Batcopter, and then you also get a fair few amount of spare pieces that can bring him down here. So you get another one of these big rods for the the actual harvest thing. You, know. you get a couple of connectors. You get another one of these gold bits with a clay stud. Like I said before, I thought it wanted two um, of these lights. So I've got that. It comes with one of these and clear, so that's pretty cool. Comes with one of these pieces, and then it comes with just other studs and that, a little hook kind of thing, a battering, and then a breather. So that's it for the spare pieces. Next, we have this comic. So I haven't actually looked at it myself, so if you want to, you can just pause it and have a look. So, pretty nice front page. Everything up's got Otis. And so, like I said, you can pause it. Go up there. And then you turn the page, and you've got the helicopter coming in. They're all fighting on Otis's farm. I wonder what Hirsch will say. It comes up there. And then it turns it over to the Killer Croc. I always find it funny. I like they swap it. And it's like, if it was all on the same night, how fast would it have been for Batman to swap suits? Or any other hero for that matter. Like, Iron Man's pretty fast, but it's like, the Batman, it wouldn't have, it would have taken an age to take it off. And then on the back, just a little check thing. Now, I got the Killer Croc one as well, so I'll be reviewing that on Monday, so, yeah, and that's pretty cool, I really like the look of this Red Hood minifigure, 
and the killer croc is actually starting to grow on me. And yeah, this is kind of disappointing this Batman, but I'll get onto that once I get onto the review. And I uh, we also get two instruction manuals. We get this first one that's about 79 pages and it just shows the helicopter playability features and then it's just got this pirate on the back and then on here the second one's pretty much for the harvest thing and then it's got all the piece count it comes with the brick separator too which here it is <laughs> and then it's got the bat the lego bat or the lego site and then it's got the new batman city or batman movie and then it's just got three sets on the back so i've got all of them but yeah time to wrap up this video thing so thank you guys for watching my second lego set review now the first one was a couple years ago for the lego agent set that i got now i'm actually going to start doing lego sets but that's every time i get a lego set so i'm not so if I don't, so it won't have a set date because I'm not going to be buying a Lego set every week to review and I'm not going to review old sets. So whenever I get a set, I'll build it and I'll review it for you guys like I did with these two. So like I said, the other one will be on Monday. In a couple of hours, I'll upload um, my custom um, Two-Face, Harvey Dent, Riddler and Penguin. So that'll be in a couple hours from now. This is actually at night, but it won't upload and be fully edited until by tomorrow or in the time of recording this. So, yeah. Now, sorry again for actually being quiet. Um, one, I've got a bit of a blocked nose. And two, my family's in bed, so I can't be too loud. So, yeah. And if there's any other sets you'd like to see me review, I'll try and review it. So, like I said, I've got the Killer Croc one, and then I'm, I really want to get the Death Star and a couple of Spider-Man sets and some other sets as well. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and share for more. Tell me which is your favorite minifigure of the bunch. Mine's Otis, followed by Blue Beetle, followed by Batman, and yeah. So, <laughs> which one's your favorite? Let me know. And, by the way... Otis thing, he isn't my favourite. Blue Beetle would have to be my favourite from this set. <laughs> but yeah, I was joking with the whole Otis in everything. But if you want me to put Otis in everything, I might. But nah, I probably won't. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and share for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.